Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Here we are for our Friday roundup on the 21st of June 2019. Wow, what a busy, busy week. We've had a fantastic week this time. We've got so much to go through. First of all, obviously the big news, uh, if you join us last night on the live show, was our latest endeavor, and that is with our pilot, Joe. Now, if you didn't see this, I highly recommend, and I'll link it down, and it'll be on the end of the show as well, to go off and have a look at our live show that we did uh, last night, where we spoke to Jim, who's our master sculptor, who has done pilot Joe for us. This is a little thing that me and Matt have been working on with Jim over the last few months. And it's been one of those ones where you're sort of very excited about it and then it sort of builds and builds and builds. And me and Matt have sat on this literally for the last sort of three months, um, you know, and now it's come to fruition. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend, if I just shove this over so you can see, if you go over to the live show, um, basically if you go into vlogs is the quickest way of doing it. So if you go into vlogs and then yesterday's you got the live show, so just click in here and you can see it uh, down in this. Again, it was one of those ones where it was absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see him here, this is Pilot Joe. Um, Jim is an amazing artist, and I have to say artist because it is. Um, and talking to him and he's explaining how he goes about it, the techniques and the various things and stuff like that, it really is an appreciation of the work. I know we do fantastic work being scale modelers and things like that, but really we're just adding the detail onto it uh, but doing something like this from you know a wireframe to ending up with something like this is absolutely incredible um, if you want to see it please go and have a look it's me and the guys talking for around about uh, an hour and a half obviously discussing other things as well but we do talk to Jim about it it was fantastic having Jim on we're going to get him back ASAP we've got his own little area set up in the forum now as well so if you can ask questions and anything you want to do any feedback you can give anything else like that we would love to hear it as well now obviously this is very early it was a bit of an exclusive for the membership last night to be able to see this one. We've still got to get him cast up. So at the moment, we haven't got a fixed price yet or actually a release date, but it is coming along. So what he is, he's 124th scale. He's designed to go with the Hellcat, uh, which obviously has just been released today as well uh, by Airfix. So generally, it's one of those ones where you can have him as a standalone figure or with the actual aircraft uh, as well. But really, he is absolutely stunning. Jim's done an amazing job on this one. Uh, and that's how he'll come. You'll get him literally like that and you can put him together. Uh, but yeah, very very excited but as I said it is a little bit early days for this one it's just me and Matt were bursting so we had to show you all uh, going through the motions of it and stuff like that but generally again very very exciting give us you know a bit of time and we'll get that sorted out uh, and going through with you literally just like that okay but again it's one of those ones where to talk to the guy who actually designed it and doing the sculpting and everything else yeah it just takes it to that absolute uh, another level on it but if you do want to go off and see that one just click on there obviously it's in on the actual forum as well you can do you can talk to Jim direct if you want to and everything else like that and say any feedback you got we'd love to hear it as well so it is absolutely fantastic again very exciting new venture for us never done figures or anything else like that before so it's something we're getting into but yeah it has been a lot of fun doing things like that definitely so anyway lots of fun thank you to everybody who joined us last night in the live show I know a lot of you had loads of questions and things like that with Jim and and the feedback we were getting at the time is absolutely amazing uh, so big big thanks to everybody on that one so really this week as I said busy week we'll go through it all so I've just finished off the Wessex the Wessex got completed uh, going through the motions of this one the last part is a free to watch part um, it's quite a long one as well it's about 50 minutes on this one uh, most of that's me waffling about how wonderful it is to work on limited run kits and how they're not too much of a problem uh, and stuff like that so generally it was very very nicely done indeed and I I have got it down in here and you can see it whizzing round uh, just like that again it was one of those ones and I'm not going to harp on because I spent far too long talking about this the other one but if you're ever in that mindset of limited run and you're not sure your skills are up to it and stuff like that I would say have a go as long as you've got the basics like you can sand fill test fit dry fit things like that you'll be absolutely fine with it because you're just going to take your time generally the kit itself there's no real problems with it. A couple of nasty joints, but again, bit of sanding, bit of filling, you're good to go with this one, bit of tidying up work. But I have absolutely fallen in love with it 
to the point where I'm really going to be reluctant to let this one go because it is one of those which I look at it, it's been sat across from me for the week really, uh, sort of winking at me and I've really, really enjoyed it. It's one of those particular builds which I look back and think, yeah, it wasn't easy. There was a few little things to it, a little, you know, a little niggling and playing with, but actually got a fantastic sense of achievement with it as well. It's not like some of these kits you just add glue, throw paint on it and it's done. This one does take a little bit of work, but yeah, it's definitely that thing of having a nice bit of satisfaction with it. But also it's nice now that I've got rid of all the big builds, so we don't actually have like the B-52 hanging around here anymore. And obviously the Wessex out of the way, which clears us away for the next project starting next week. But as you can see, she turned out absolutely lovely. Uh, and again, if you're not a member and you want to see exactly how we go about doing these things, just follow the link down below. And obviously you can catch up on the final part of this one and all the photos as we made our way through the actual build with it uh, to give you an idea exactly what we got up with that particular build. A couple of people asked about the grill at the front. Apparently they didn't carry them. Um, it used to get ice build up in the mesh. So when they're in the UK, so consequently they didn't fly with them because bits of ice used to fall down and that wasn't good for them to take the ingest them into the engines. So they used to fly with actually uh, the little grill on the front. Uh, so that's why she's done literally just like that. So yes, but thank you for all the feedback on that one. Again, it was one of those particular builds where, you know, it was a lot of fun to do it. Uh, and then obviously my perspective changed about it as we're making our way through, which I think is quite nice. But going through and adding the final little details to this one was absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really did enjoy it. It was very, very nice indeed. Uh, after that, uh, last week, as you might remember, I went up and uh, me and Mark, we did the filming for about the actual, uh, the, the caddies, which is the tool stuff, the caddies and the workstations. So we did a video about that one as well. So literally, if you go up here to the actual vlog page, and this keeps you up to date with everything that's been going on, and we did it on Tuesday. So if you go down in here, you can see all about it and you can see me waffling on and all of that going through, but also we showed uh, in depth about the actual laser, how it cuts it out, how it does it, and then obviously I show you about putting one together uh, and stuff like that. So if you wanna see that video, that's up there now. Again, it's a bit of a long one, it's around about sort of 50 minutes, I think, is it? Yeah, 49 minutes uh, on this video, and it talks all about it, and I put together a workstation as well to show you the new versions of them going together. The other thing as well, obviously we are giving away one of these, again to a lucky winner so same thing if you'd like to like subscribe share and all of that good stuff on the social media and obviously if you're a Flory Models member if you want to get a second bite of the cherry put your name down under today's show uh, in the forum and that will get entered as well so you can enter twice into the actual competition but again if you can pop it up all over the sofa all over the social medias that'd be absolutely fantastic of you and because of that we will then give away three of the actual caddies which are these okay which again are in this fantastic acrylic just like that all right so again if you can post it up we're going to do three draws one in the forum uh, for obviously for the membership then we're going to do one on facebook for everybody's commented on the facebook page and then one on the actual uh, pm models facebook page as well so we're going to give away three of these uh, and the closing one for this one will be next week next friday i will draw live uh, on the friday show actually about this one as well and obviously we can then get them out uh, on probably on the monday's post uh, after that one and those will go out to it so again lots Lots and lots of fun with that one. Big thanks for Mark putting up me for the day, uh, filming on that one last week, seeing all about that, and a couple of other new products and lines that may be coming down the line in the near future. Again, your feedback is always appreciated with those. So other things that are going on at the moment, obviously lots of things going on in the forum uh, and talking about it and stuff like that. And one of them we were talking about was like scratch building and how I tip my hat to these guys who actually do it. Well, Ian on the forum has done an amazing job over the last couple of, well, months working on the, I've got I've written it down because I can never remember what it is. It's the S64, is it the 64? Uh, it is, uh, which is, if I've got it up here somewhere correctly, uh, is one of these. Okay, so Ian's been working at scratch building a 135th scale S64F, probably known better as a sky crane. Um, and obviously the other day I was talking about scratch building and things like that, and I thought I'd show you this one down in here. So there we go. So this project has been approximately nine months uh, to get it to sort of this stage and then working through it, as you can imagine. It was a long old haul on this one, but we'll briefly skim through these. As you can see, scratch building and like the yeah, raised rivets and all the rest of it to an entire new level on this particular build. And this is the great thing about the forum is you guys sharing uh, all of this stuff down in here uh, and going through the motions of doing it. And as you can see, there's a fantastic green livery going on. 
going right the way through, all the motions fitting those engines, all the various stuff going in there, literally all the way through, and that gorgeous detail. When we were talking about the scratch building and everything down in here in the actual rotor head and the engine compartments and the hydraulic lines and everything coming off of it is absolutely on another level with this one. Beautiful, beautiful work. Anyway, he has got the finished photos of it done. As you can see, she did turn out absolutely magnificent, fantastic job. Definitely one of those builds where, you know, I tip my hat. It is literally, to, for the guys who actually do full on scratch building, like this type of work is definitely off the chart. Very, very nicely done. Beautiful work on that one, as you can see. So I wanted to showcase this one because I am in awe of it. After doing the Wessex as well, me complaining about the Wessex putting this thing together, I have nothing to complain about when you've just done that clearly because it is an absolutely beautiful beautiful job on that one so congratulations so obviously the big news is being friday is this little cat is available the hellcat is finally available uh from airfix it got released today to be honest they turned up at the pm store uh on wednesday and we've been sat on them because we weren't allowed to start selling them until today to be honest we had a few on pre-order and they have already flown out we did a bit of a members discount you might know last night on the live show um but anyway we have got them up we have got a few left in stock so they're up at 110 pounds if you want to grab a hellcat okay so again you know one of those things it's been waited and spoken about and anticipated for so long i intend to bring one back from the pm store when i'm up there next weekend and i'll bring it back and do a full review on it uh, and things like that all right with this one loads of people ask me am i building it to be honest no um, there's good reason for that. One is I've sort of burnt myself out doing very large products. You might imagine I've done 30 second stuff and massive 70 second scale stuff since, well, the new year. So now I want to turn my attention to some smaller scales and some, yeah, 148 scale stuff and stuff like that. He says doing a 112 scale truck, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the other stuff's going to be a little bit smaller. Later on, who knows? But in the meantime, our very own Pramjit on the uh, forum, and you might know him, he works for FX. Uh, you've probably seen him in the videos and everything else. He is a member of the Flory Model site. He has been for a while now, and it's been fantastic to follow his build. So he has put up for us a fantastic walkthrough. Now, he's built two of these. So if anybody knows them, he does. So this is the second one he did. He's done a full detailed uh, sort of photo build right the way through the entire thing, okay? So it is a real warts and all step-by-step -step, uh, build for you. And again, massive, massive thanks to uh, him and to Airfix as well for us allowing to have it on here and going through the motions of it. And he did do an absolute stunning, stunning job on this one. So members, you can go off and actually see this down in the forum, obviously follow it along. It is a real, real highly, highly detailed photo build uh, going through this one. And obviously you can ask him all the questions and the various things about the build on this one. Uh, as you make your way through but you can probably see it is very very that's just part one and here we are into part two bearing in mind i think it's 20 parts to this one so it does go on uh, somewhat but as you can see all the parts everything else what i think is fantastic about this is when you see it with paint on you can roughly see what's going on with the kit okay so in some ways if you want to see a review this is probably the best one you're going to get uh, because it is highly detailed and you can actually see it going together and any problems and things like that are picked up along the way and shown uh, various things like that. So he has done a truly fantastic job on this one. If I just skim through, because he did do, as you can see, a very, very comprehensive uh, photo build of this particular one. Every single step right the way through this one. And then, uh, as you can see, we've got the tail system going through. And there's that cockpit that looks absolutely fantastic again very very nicely done on that one and the instrument panel all the areas as you can see going right the way through very very nicely done okay and if i i'm just going to skim forward just a little bit on this because as i said it, it is multiple multiple parts so i'm just going to cut through just a few on this one uh, i've just got to find out where we are part five uh, down in here with that engine cowl and then color matching get the teeth in got to get the teeth in okay and there's that gorgeous engine with all that detail which again he has showed full detail build on that one as well okay right the way through as you can imagine and then there we go there's that front section with the engine installed all the plumbing coming through and the question is is this airfix's best kit 
Now, I loved their Typhoon, the 24th scale Typhoon. You might remember that one I did a couple of years ago as a sort of full on build and I scratch built a bit of work in that one as well. And we did some various things to it. And yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal kit. So this one will be interesting to see how this one stacks up against it. I know a lot of people were very shocked when they came out with this one, me included, so I didn't see it coming at all. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful, beautiful work. So getting ready for paint, everything coming together down in there. There we go, going into the paint phase. And as you can see, it gives you an idea of the size of this thing with him holding it. It is a very large bird. And again, prop work with the weapons. And then in a moment, we just go, I'm going to run out of finger at this rate. Finger's going to fall off. Okay, lots of MRP paints and various things going down in there. There we go, decals on. Looking good. That iconic colours, bonus points for using the wash. <laughs> and then again, very, very nicely done on this one. Very, very cool with the weapons. And then going in there, weathering it down. We just do one more, I think if we go one more page again. No, sorry, too, too many pages, one more page. There we go, part 20. Really see it something coming together there. Gray wash going on, showing through. Very nicely done and looking absolutely fantastic. He's done an absolutely amazing job on this one. Fantastic work right the way through. Beautiful work, as you can see on there. And then after he does a load of clever little weathering onto it as well, which actually turned out beautifully done, he ended up with this, which is absolutely stunning. If anyone needs any inspiration to build this kit, this is it. You're looking at it right now. This is it, finished off, all done. Beautiful work, gorgeous looking aircraft. There we go, getting an idea with those guns. Looking down, nice weathering on it, right the way through. Very, very nicely done and beautiful end photos as well. Love that picture, that's just pure artwork. Very, very nice indeed. So a massive, massive thank you for him for doing and allowing us to have that actually on the forum as always. You are a star fan, absolutely love it. No problem at all. You're a very, very talented model maker as well. I've seen you from start now to up here. You've actually come along absolutely amazingly well and it's turned out absolutely stunning. You should be very, very proud of that. And if your bosses don't give you a pay rise for it, we'll boycott them. Well, we probably won't. We're all still buying the kits anyway. But there we go. That is the actual 24 scale uh, Airfix um, Hellcat. And it doesn't come with a kit cap. Just saying on that particular one. But absolutely fantastic nonetheless. So congratulations on that one. Anyway, uh, last up, as I said, we've got the BMW M3 E30 uh, BMAX review. That's up with you as well. I tell you, I've told you it's full on day today with everything going on. So that is up as well. So you've got that and the actual Wessex are up there right now. And just to cap it off, being a Friday as well, just to let you know on Sunday, PM models are having a flash sale, okay? And it's gonna be 10% off of all Tamiya, or Eddard and 15% off Dragon. Okay, it's just on those lines. So if you want to pop over to the PM Models um, UK store, uh, you can find it literally in here. This is the store. Okay, so it's just literally uh, www.pmmodels uh, uk.com you can see them down in there if you click on the new arrival section you can see them just in here like that and then if we go to let's just show you in the Tamiya section just to see what we've got see what's in stock and what's not I think pretty much we're stacked out we're, we're okay with all of that so there you go. it's going to be 10% off everything you can see down in there it's a few items are out but 99% of it is all in there which is really really good so we've got all of those down in there and then obviously we've got 10% off of Eddard, so you go to Eddard, where's Eddard? Uh, D E, there we go. <coughs> Alphabet, there we go. So it's 10% off everything that we've got in stockers here as well. It's only for the in stock stuff, all right? And then 15% off all the dragon. So there it is. I have to step with all these. And then we've got 15% off all the Dragon kits as well. All right, right the way through. But there we go. They are all down in there as always on the actual PM store. Remember, your code for this one is Sunday 10, as in Sunday as the word, and then one zero for 10, all right? So it's just Sunday 10 will be the password. So when you get to your checkout on Sunday and it's gonna run from midnight GMT 
um, on the sort of Saturday, Sunday, okay, through to Sunday, Monday, midnight at that point, and it's going to be 10% off of those. So just pop those in and you'll be good to go. And don't forget, you've still got a chance to win a caddy as well. Just pop something in there, nice preferably about us, uh, and we'll enter you into the actual draw, and I'll draw that next Friday uh, for those, for all three of those, and then we'll get it sent out to you as soon as possible. Last reminder for you is don't forget, we're actually doing a airbrushing open house, I would say, uh, at the PM store at Doncaster, uh, Jupiter Business Parks. Come up and see us at Bentley. Uh, that's where the home of us is nowadays uh, and everything else. So what I'm going to be doing is upstairs on the mezzanine level, going to deck all that out, I'm going to take all my airbrushes, all a load of stuff, everything else like that. I'm going to do an open airbrushing. So it's not so much a, a teaching thing, it's more you come along and I'll show you and I can answer any questions. If you've got problems with your airbrush, bring your airbrush along, I'll have a look at it. If you want to have a go of any of my airbrushes as well, to have a feel to see the differences between them and the types you like things like that then it would be great to have you along as well so if you do want to come along to it it's totally free pop along grab yourself a coffee whilst you're there and hear me waffle on like i do like this and you'll be absolutely fine and there we go what a busy week next week i am going to be as i said we are starting on this little lump something small clearly so i'm going to be doing a truck and again for the first time ever i'm not going to weather that at all i'm going to do it factory fresh as if it's come out of the factory sounds weird but i've never done anything without any weathering on it probably ever so i want to do something that's got weathering with no weathering and totally gloss finish and everything else like that so it's going to be a mirror finish and we're looking for perfection which i think is a lot harder than it is just to produce a model weathered aircraft say because you can hide all your nasty bits in there so that'll be a lot of fun and i've got a special wingy thing i'm working on at the moment and also next week if I get a bit of time I'm going to be painting and doing a basics video about airbrushing using the uh, Airfix Hunter 48 scale and we're going to be doing that one so we're doing that sort of high speed metal finish underneath camo on the top uh, and talking about that in a very very simple way and then a simple weathering job on that one as well so lots of various bits and pieces are still to come as we make our way through so what a week absolute crazy week very very busy so as always being Friday I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery so happy modeling take care and I'll catch you all on Monday. I was not ready to fall in like I'm wasted.